The 22.1 patrols exercise is called Noborashi. We conducted bilateral amphibious operations simulating the seizure of maritime terrain. The Noble series of exercises occur every patrol and it simulates the 31st Mew fighting back to the first island chain. At this time, the ARG Mew was split with the Green Bay and Company C conducting operations in Guam, while Company A in the America and Company B on the Ashland conducted operations at Katsi Fuji. The Marine Corps fights using mission tactics. It's commander's intent, decentralized decision making and execution. That with conditions based tactics and flexible fire support, it enables the Marine Corps to generate tempo and make decisions down to the lowest level. With the initial BLT's integration with the MU, the MU's integration with the ARG, and the subsequent 22.1 patrol, the highlight of the flow for me was witnessing the rapid development and evolution of the BLT. Fire up, fire up! The purpose of the exercise is to validate or invalidate concepts of stand-in forces through conducting experimental and unit-level training. We're here to assure partners and allies while deterring adversaries, ultimately setting conditions for crisis response operations across the Pacific. This iteration provided a venue for deploying the full landing force to Guam, driving unit-level training across the MAGTAF. Our landing force consisted of the following of the 31st Mu Command Element, VMM-265, CLB-31, and BLT-15. Unit-level training encompassed CBRN detection and mitigation, forward arming and refueling, reconnaissance and counter-reconnaissance, and battle space shaping operations. Although a lot of the training infrastructure is nascent aboard Guam, the island itself provided Marines with dynamic training environments that facilitated foraging and persistence at the low tactical level. In addition to providing our Marines and sailors with solid training reps, the exercise enabled integration with the 40 Commando Royal Marines, U.S. Coast Guard Sector Guam, and Navy EOD Unit 5, solidifying relationships for future training iterations aboard Guam. It's important for the Marines to get outside their comfort zones, sharpen their claws in new, unfamiliar environments in the Second Island chain. At the end of the day, it's about lethality. We're letting our adversaries know they can get it anytime, any place. <laughs>